an independent agency for about 10 years at Allegiance Insurance. So what I really want to talk to you today about is, is utilizing the carrier marketing portals. I know some people feel that it may be a little bit intimidating to even explore that world given you're maybe not a marketing expert, um, but it really, you don't need to be. And that's what I'm here to basically explain to you today. Everything is going to be at your fingertips. You can take things as basic as you want to. You can accelerate as fast as you need to. Um, it takes years to really build this whole marketing game plan um, if you're trying to do it on your own without hiring a marketing specialist in your agency. But I just want to let you know that you don't even need to do that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so basically, some key highlights and takeaways today I just want to point out is look and take the time and look at the marketing portals on each of your carrier portals. Every single carrier is going to have a free portal available for you to explore. Um, I also want to mention too, if you have any questions, Catherine, are we going to do questions as they come in or do we want to put them in the chat? Um, let's put them in the chat for now. And then maybe if you guys want to um, open up at the end, we can open up all the um, microphones and all that. Okay, perfect. So just getting back to some of the key takeaways today is I want to point out um, every carrier is going to have their own marketing portal take the time to go in there. Even if it means starting only one hour a week, maybe schedule first thing out of the gates Friday morning, just take an hour and start exploring carrier by carrier what's available to you. Um, secondly, talk to your carrier reps. That's what they're there for. Maybe they haven't made you aware of, of what some of this content or these um, free prospecting letters are. Talk to your rep, ask them questions, see if they'll do a one-on-one -on -one with you just to kind of dive deeper into the marketing world of what their carrier or what their company has to offer. And most importantly, ask them for money. You'd be surprised how many of them have free marketing dollars to give away to their agents. They maybe don't tell you that, um, but sales one-on-one, -on -one, if you don't ask the answer, the answer is no. So certainly keep that in mind as you begin to explore you know, these, these different opportunities. Um, lean on the carrier reps. That's the number one tip that I can give you. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to pull up two carrier portals that I feel have some pretty great marketing content and resources. Uh, Safeco and Travelers, just because maybe you don't have those carriers, I just wanted to use them as an example. So that way I can highlight some key takeaways for this. Uh, before I do that, I just wanted to mention maybe this is a good tip for those that haven't even started um, in the marketing space yet, but maybe create a little calendar of events, right? Think of an insurance as far as month to month. So for example, what I want to throw out here is just an idea. April is a big distracted uh, driver awareness month. So this could be a month where you're highlighting whether it's just you or you have some staff in the agency. Telematics, right? Selling telematics in the agency, really highlighting auto coverages, um, you know, talking about cross-sell opportunities and why they would maybe need an umbrella, an umbrella due to the excuse me, exposure, um, maybe youthful drivers in the household. May, we always like to highlight an agency watercraft, motorcycle season, you know, emphasizing those particular products during the months of May. June, a lot of focus on RVs, campers, ATVs. I'm, I'm coming from the Midwest and the Chicagoland area. So really this can cater to anywhere, I think. Um, July, safety, right? Barbecues, fireworks, the need for extra liability, keeping your pet safe. Maybe you have pet insurance, um, capabilities. I know Safeco offers it and Nationwide does as well. August, back to school, right? Selling uh, roadside coverage for kids away at school, AAA memberships, renters for kids, just checking for extra discounts on policies. And the last example is September's Life Insurance Aware Awareness Month. You know, we put a heavy emphasis on selling life insurance that during that month. So with that said, all of the resources available on the carrier portals can cater to, you know, that specific type of focus. That's just a tip for me. We did in our agency, just an easy, easy start. Um, so with that said, I'm going to share my screen here and we're going to take a look at Safeco first. And let me know if you can see my screen. Actually, give me one more second. I want to swap it out. Sure. What are you seeing right now? Can you tell me, Catherine? I see the Safeco now. Oh, okay, perfect. So if you have Safeco, you should be pretty familiar with the main portal when you log in. What I want to highlight is the sell and grow tab, whether you've been in there or not at this point. A couple really great items that I want to focus on in today's conversation. And please, if you have a question, put it in the chat because I'd like to, if it's something you want to see, I'd like to pull it up here. Um, we're going to focus on these prospect mailings. 
and I believe you can see this, right? Okay, so when I click on Get Started, what we're gonna do, I don't know why, oh, here we go, continue, okay. Um, so if I'm clicked on prospecting here, and, and if you take the time to look through this, there's a ton of different options that you can filter through and decide if you wanna focus on. There are some uh, prospect mailing letters, some may be free, some may come to a cost. For example, let's say you have a list of prospects, maybe your non-compete is up. You can technically upload a, a list, in, an Excel spreadsheet list into the carrier portal and they can send out these letters on your behalf. This says 65 cents per mailer. Talk to your marketing rep, see if they can give you these for free. You'd be surprised how long, um, how far it can go. Uh, let's see, any questions on that in particular? I haven't seen any, but yeah, it never hurts to ask. Who knows, you know, okay. the worst they can say is no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Another one that I did want to point out is there's also, and if you're not utilizing this, please take advantage of it. There are a ton of cross-sell letters in here. So if you have, let's say Epic is able to pull all of your monoline auto policies, you can target those clients that don't have the home. So they'll do the free cross-selling for you. I believe there's a different feature uh, where you can set this up where it's actually automated and you don't even have to send these out manually by yourself. So certainly check into the cross-sell opportunities with Safeco. I think Safeco does one of the best jobs at cross-selling um, in comparison to some of our other carriers. And then another great area I wanna point out here is note cards. I know Safeco in particular, it looks like they have a happy birthday card, a happy Thanksgiving card, a happy new year, just a general thank you. Again, costs associated to these, talk to your rep, see if they're able to, to you know, give these to you for free at no cost. You'd be surprised how far just a handwritten note will go. It goes a very, very long way. Um, and then I think here, I also wanted to touch on newsletter content. You know, newsletters is certainly something that will take some time to learn how to create if you ever wanted to get into the habit of newsletters. I know a lot of successful agencies do incorporate a newsletter, uh, whether it be mail or email. I know you can do both. Mail sounds kind of like an old school um, you know, way of doing things, but it's actually pretty successful. I think they said on average, a client wants to hear from you at least five to seven times in a year. So if you ever dive into the world of newsletters, lean on some of the content that's gonna be available in the carrier portals. Okay, so I'm going to jump over now. Um, if there's no questions on any of these mailers, flyers, materials that are available, I'm going to go into just another really cool area of Safeco here. Um, under the Sell and Grow tab again, ton of content, right? This is extremely robust. So take the time to kind of explore what's in there. Something really, really cool, and I think a lot of agents don't even know about is that Safeco will do a free 30 minute marketing consultation with you as an agent. I think it's only a one time um, deal, but if you click on this, you can actually schedule a personalized consultation. Am I going too fast? Is everybody okay at my speed? <laughs> um, you can pick out of the three, I think right now they only have these three marketers, but you can pick whichever person you think you may be able to connect with, and they'll just do a quick 30 minute phone call with you, at least get the, get the conversation started, right? So give you some quick ideas, tips. Again, you don't have to have a marketing degree to do this. Um, I think it's something that anybody can do. And I wanted to also point out, maybe you have somebody in your agency that is able to do this for you. Maybe you're too busy. Um, if you're a one-man shop, obviously it leaves you, you to be the person, but maybe you have a CSR or producer that you can say, hey, I want to I want to assign you as our marketer, right? Some of this stuff can be very, very basic. Um, just something to think about. You know, if you are with Safeco and you do this consultation, I would certainly bring that question up. Like, how do I find the time to fit the marketing piece into my agency? Okay. Um, so let's get out of here. Hi, Maggie. Sorry, you guys. I had some technical issues here, so I'm able to jump on. Um, just real quick. So this marketing consultation, that's a free. So all you have to do is go in and schedule time with one of those three people. That's correct. It's a free 30 minute consultation with one of Safe, Safe Coast top marketers. Okay. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. 
Okay, so going back, oops, sorry, I'm gonna jump around. Going back to sell and grow tab. Another cool area I'd wanna point out is, I know not everybody's a huge social media person. If you are, there's, there's certainly a ton of free social media content out there. Um, if I were to click on, I think it's called social share. Yes, with Safeco, you can set it up and, and basically automate some of the, oh, it's not gonna let me do that. I'm just gonna talk through it anyways. It'll let you automate some of those posts that maybe go on to Facebook. Um, LinkedIn and Facebook, I feel are, are two of the more important flat platforms that are gonna cater to all the different audiences. Um, LinkedIn is obviously a much more professional outlet, but Facebook, you can, you can target those young kids all the way up to, to the older generation. Um, Laura, did you have any questions or comments on social media in general? I did. So um, I noticed you guys are posting a lot on your Allegiance site. So are you going into the different carriers and grabbing some of this Facebook information and then putting it on yours? Yes, we will pull from some of our preferred carriers. Um, one, and I'll show you guys when I hop over to Travelers. Travelers does, and they'll typically send an email out about it too, but they do a um, like a fall campaign, a summer campaign, a winter campaign where you can schedule, I think, about eight weeks out of content. Well, they'll post it two to three times a week for you. So you're, you're ultimately doing nothing, right? So you're scheduling it to your social media platforms and it's doing the job all by itself. So it's pretty cool. Um, I do want to say, People on social media, are they're gonna get bored and tired over the same insurance content over and over. So keep it real. You know, you are, everybody's a real person. They do wanna see your faces. They do wanna see that you're a family person or have pets, you love animals. They wanna see that you're involved in the community. Um, you know, but they also don't wanna be drained by insurance, insurance, insurance. So keep it like, keep it fun. And it's a great way to brand yourself. Well, one of my favorite, um segments on your allegiance facebook page is the holly's how to's yeah. those are my favorites <laughs> holly doing her video and talking about something that's relevant for insurance is absolutely amazing and you know a lot of our family is um you know following allegiance of course because you guys do all those fun contests and everything and they're always like wow that was a great tip that holly gave us and i'm like that's amazing i'm gonna let her know I think the educational piece is what separates independent agents aside from some of our competition as well. Um, I will talk a little bit about that too when I get into the traveler's portal, but I think that really educating your client is what's going to keep them over the years and that loyalty and really just hitting home at what an independent agent is. Um, last item I wanted to touch on Safeco here was promotional items. So I'm going to click on this. And if you guys have ever explored any of the merchandise or pr promotional items or swag pages on the carrier portals, please take a look because there is so much out there, right? Um, what I want to look at here in particular are food and gifts. You know, there is actually some pretty good stuff in here. Ask your rep, hey, can you get me this really nice cooler for free? <laughs> Maybe you can do a free lead campaign or a, a referral campaign in your agency, right? This is going to be your giveaway. Did you pay a single dollar for it? No, you didn't. The carrier has money. Ask them for the money. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. I think it's great. I think now that um, depending on what area you're into with real world, real life starting to come back, we're doing events again. You know, you're able to do these little promotional items and see people in person and the carriers have a ton of free stuff to give you, right? So if you're doing a car show, hey, maybe you use uh, American Modern or Haggerty, call your rep and say, do you have any, any promotional items you can give me? They will probably drop off a ton to your office. So you Maggie, can, what you're saying is that, you know, with it being summer and all the car shows that are coming up, you mean have a booth there and have some giveaways or... What I would think do, do I've seen more recently, people are still doing booths, but also just walk obviously based on approval walking away and just handing out branding your agency and handing out these items to people right we have the ability to do that on the independent side as well with all of your carriers you can you can mix and match right you can go to it's classic car Haggerty, american modern and safeco and just say give me as much content as you have and you even can co-brand it with your agency name so i think that one time we did um, a motorcycle show and we had those from Progressive, those little hockey pucks for the kickstands. That was a great idea that you had. So those For are sure. some things that, you know, you got some great ideas, Maggie. 
<laughs> I'm glad you're here sharing them with us. Flora. Do we have any questions in the chat or is that just? I think Foster said, I go to the top 100 in the agents list and find their social media and copy their posts, effortless and quality. Okay. However you're doing it, Foster, that's good. Definitely. All righty, so um, I think I'm gonna jump over to uh, Traveler's Portal here because there's some good stuff I wanted to point out on their site as well. Okay, here we are. Um, before I do that, in any portal, obviously, again, it's a very robust system. You're looking for keywords like marketing, marketing portal, marketing um, support center. It usually will take you into a completely different program once you click on it. So for example, if I click on the marketing tools here, it's going to take me into Traveler's Marketing Portal. This is what I was talking about earlier. So for example, let me just scroll back over to this. Um, they do a summer social media campaign, right? If I clicked on this, access now, I'll just show you how quick and easy it is. It's giving me six weeks of free content and I can link it to my Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, and then go ahead and quickly schedule it, right? I think we already did this for the agency, but it's literally, if I click continue one more time, it's gonna schedule it. I don't wanna schedule it twice because then it's double the content, but that's how quick and simple it is. Out of sight, out of mind, and boom, you're done with it. So does everybody have access to this? Everybody will have access to this. As long as you're not using a shared code. Correct. So make sure, you know, if you have your own code, then you're gonna have access to this. Is that confirmed too, Laura? Just so we know with a shared code. With the shared code when they're logging in for their my account i don't know if we have anybody on the call that's using a shared code okay. i just want to double check it just in just in case because if they have the ability to still brand it themselves with that a different means. login maybe I'm, I'm not sure so so that is uh travelers that's the automated an example of one of their automated social campaigns and then i wanted to jump over to just like they so they have their own direct mail options, right? Kind of scroll through something might jump out at you and say, hey, I want to try this. Uh, let's look at acquisition. Let's do uh, IntelliDrive auto to home postcard. That's a good one. I'm going to see if it's going to pop up for me. That's an important topic, you know, for agents to be discussing with their clients. Not going to work for me, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I got to pop out of this one. Um, if I go into email, it's the same concept. I think email marketing is a little bit easier when it comes to just how quick and easy it can go for you, right? You just go in, you're able to pick any of these and plug in. Here, let's click on digital auto discounts. It should work for me this time. Please work. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try this. Let's see if this works. Okay. So for example, it's going to give you um, what the email is going to look like. And I can, here we go. Obviously, you want to see what the content is going to be that you're sending out to your clients. But you should have the ability to customize it. You can put your logo, logo your agency name, contact information, email, phone number, address. Um, and then plug in either one email that you want it to go to. Or this is where you can truly upload the Excel list again going back to that if you have a prospecting list your non-compete is up you can upload it the only thing i would be a little bit hesitant about is me personally i would want it to be branded more not just necessarily travelers but what i'm going to show you is something that i think is really cool that travelers has to offer is this video here again going back to the concept of what an independent agent is right and they offer something really cool that you can customize i'm going to play it really quick here okay hold on one sec I think you guys should be able to hear it. Let's turn the volume on. Yeah, if they're if it's plain sound, I can't hear it. It's not going to transfer over. Then I apologize the sound, but basically, this video is just demonstrating what an an independent agent is. So can you take this video and put it on your Facebook page? So if I go to customize it, let's see if it wants to work. You can post it to your Facebook page. You can create a custom landing page and you can put it on your website. So there's a lot of different creative ways that you can 
put this information out there. Um, I think video is awesome because people get tired of reading the same thing over and over, right? Sometimes people are just tired of reading, right? We're clicking and we prefer to watch a video message. Um, so I just wanted to share that. I think it's really cool. Again, it, it demonstrates what an independent agent is. So and I think that everybody should go in. Um, if if you got two screens, maybe go in and, and like the Allegiance Facebook page so you can really see all the content that Maggie and Holly put up on there. You're really going to be amazed at the different videos that are on there. Because like Maggie said, videos are important. People want to watch a video. People certainly do. Um, Holly does a great job with our videos too. So um, any, anything else you want me to bring up, Laura, as far as the, the content goes in the portals? Again, the main takeaways here are just take the time, right? Go in there. The stuff is pretty user-friendly overall. See what they have to offer. Um, Again, a lot of people think I don't have the marketing experience, I don't have the background, I don't have the time, right? So a couple things I just wanted to bring to your attention is maybe maybe here's a couple of quick things you can do to free up your time. And it relates not only to just marketing, but servicing and renewal. So I'm going to just tie it all in together for you. Um, I'll, I'll do that, Laura, unless you have some other questions for me. Um, so a couple of quick questions that I did have. We talked earlier about mortgage referral programs, and I apologize if I was late if you showed that or I not. Did not. I did not, but I can show everybody right now, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, so, so you're in Safeco. Going back to Safeco. Again, exploring the Sell and Grow tab, there's a ton of stuff in here. Something I stumbled upon I thought was pretty neat was this mortgage referral, referral sources um, piece. Let me see talking points. You know, maybe you have a newer CSR or producer or somebody in the agency that you need to start building, you know, referral partnerships with. This is a really great quick talking point sheet that you can give to them to read over and just get themselves acclimated, right? Um, I, I had probably been in this portal, I don't know, 200 times over the past couple years. I never saw this before until I started to dive a little bit deeper and say, wow, this is pretty cool. And actually I sent it over to Holly and I said, here, look at you're you're one of the people having these conversations more recently. Um, so there's some really good stuff in there. Which brings me to, Laura, I did not talk about this. I wanted to point it out. I thought it was awesome. Um, on the Safeco portal here too, there may be a cost associated to it, but they have a fantastic marketer development program. Um, so if you click around under trainings, I think it's about, I don't know, $1,500, right? But talk to your safe co rep. See if they can give it to you possibly for free. I almost guarantee you, you can get it for a much lower cost than that $1,500. This is a great way to, to just entry level get into the marketing game, right? Maybe you do have some experience, but I think there's nothing wrong with always continuing to educate yourself. Um, Holly just completed this course. I don't know if anybody was on the session that we did last week, but I think it's a fantastic course for beginner or for somebody that's been doing it already for five, six, seven years in the agency. Um, so I highly encourage this course. This is, this is not going to be the same thing as I had mentioned earlier, that, that quick 30 minute consultation that's free. This is a much more in-depth, um, I want to say it's a four week program at about eight hour commitment a week, but I think it's going to give you some really, really, really great ideas. What if they joined our marketing workshop that we have coming up on the 21st and go through that and then get, you know, some basic ideas of what they feel is important and what would work within their agency and then come in and join this marketer development program. And then it'll really open up their eyes on the different things that they need to, that they can do within their agency. Absolutely. And I think a lot of not just carriers, but vendors are going to be hitting home on the same content topics and ideas. Um, obviously, that industry, the industry itself is rapidly changing, right? The way we communicate with people, um, the way we talk to all the different generations, right? Younger, younger people, they only want that text. They want instant gratification, right? They want the quote bound and issued immediately. They don't even want to answer any of the questions you have for them. Um, the older folks, they want to still mail, they still want to fax, they still want to meet with you face to face. So the cool thing is you can learn how to interact and approach and prospect to all the different generations out there. Um, they're all going to talk about the same thing, essentially, but everybody has their own spin and takeaway. Um, that agency revolution we use to you, so I highly encourage 
you guys to join that three session webinar. It's three sessions, right, Laura? It is. It's a little over an hour each one that June 21st, 22nd, 23rd. And, and if you haven't registered for it, uh, we'll put it in the chat so you guys can register for it because as Mark, as Maggie is saying, how important marketing is within your agency. And to give you those free tips and tricks on how to do that is really important because I like the word free. <laughs> um, Pamela asked a question, how do we find our carrier reps? So your carrier rep would have been the person that would have onboarded you to that carrier. Maybe they did a phone call. Maybe they've come out to your agency. Um, if you, maybe they've sent you emails in regards to different products and features for their uh, for that carrier. If you still don't know who that is, agency services can assist you with that as well, or your state partner. So if you're in Arizona and Nevada, you can reach out to Stephen Ralph, or you can send agency services at asnoa.com an email and ask who your rep is, and they should be able to assist you with that. Certainly. Is there anything else you wanted me to point out, Laura? On did, you, or did, you show, did you show the birthday cards and the one-off emails? I did show the note cards. The one-off emails can be found under any of, like, for example, if we go back into uh, travelers here, you can send any one-off email to anybody, really, based upon the content that they have to offer. So if I'm having a conversation and I'm trying to sell an umbrella, you know, to one of my clients, I can just send them a one-off email in regards to an umbrella. Yes. And I'm pretty sure with most of them, you should be able to use these little search features. So if I type in umbrella, there you go. That's going to pull up all the umbrella content. Nice. And then I can use that in any of them it says email there was postcards to it showing you at all yep okay love that and obviously yeah. it's going to work really well if you have customers with travelers right and you want to highlight the traveler's umbrella this is a no-brainer right you're going to go in it's already templated for you it's already got the picture on here and again this is an example we were we are able to you are able to brand it with your agency logo and your agency contact information i love that great because it looks like it's coming from you it is coming from you but it really really looks like it's coming from you it certainly does and that's the, really important to make sure that we're branding our agencies you know we don't want to put just travelers on there we want to have our logos on there as well for sure that's what i love about them too because they're they're all about co-branding. They'll put their logo and your logo on every single thing. I feel like if you ask, that's where you're going to find out the right the right answer to it. And again, you, you showed the birthday the cards, answer, right? Yeah, I did do the birthday cards in Safeco. That's that's my favorite, one of my most favorite things. Everybody loves getting a birthday card. I'm not sure why I got kicked out of my Safeco screen here. I'm so sorry. It's going to have me put in my two-factor authenticator. No, it put me right back in there. So Sell and Grow, again, under the contact mailers, you can click on. We're losing your audio, Maggie. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Oops. Let me go into it. It was under, I believe, note cards. Yes, note cards here. They had... These are the varieties of the note cards that we have. And they come on a really nice card stock. I remember we ordered the Happy Thanksgiving cards a couple years ago, and we just ran a book of business of our Safeco clients, and we hand wrote just a Happy Thanksgiving Happy Thanksgiving letter. And I, I know that at some point they were giving away free, like 250 of yeah. free Thanksgiving They were free. Cards we or... were able to get them all for free. So even though it's saying that there's a price, just talk to your carrier rep, like Maggie's been saying, mm -hmm. we might be able to get those for free. I love that. All right. So another thing that I wanted to ask you now, did you go through your uh, calendars of doing all of that throughout really the year? I really just talked about the easiest way to, to get the wheels turning. If just some basic info, if you want to start implementing some type of marketing strategy in the agencies, really just outlining a 12 month calendar and following that and focusing on what's relevant during that month, right? If, if you're in the middle of a snowstorm, you're not talking about boats 
and barbecue fires um, during that month. So just keeping things relative to, to the world and what's going on. And again, a good mix of playful, but also insurance but people do like to see who you are. So if you do want to get, you know, a little bit more exploratory, I do suggest trying to do some videos on your own because people will want to see who you are and what you have to say. Um, you can send those out via email blast too eventually if you get into that whole space. We do it. We we talk about a referral program. Hey, send us a $10, I'm sorry, send us a free lead. We'll send you a $10 referral, right? A, whatever gift card of their choice. Um, but people click the most on those videos. People engage the most with the actual video of you as the agent or one of your staff just talking about anything really. You know, they're gonna click on that video versus read that quick little paragraph. I know um, I definitely click the video for sure. Christmas or holiday messages go a long way, right? So if you wanted to sound out and it's your whole office staff, just to, even if it's a cheesy little you know, we wish you a happy holidays from Allegiance Insurance Services. People love, they eat that stuff up, right? They love it. They love to see who you are. Um, they absolutely do. I love it when I'm friends on Facebook with some of our agents and they post a video of them talking about something. I click on it all the time. You know, I've never met them in person, but I like to see what they're doing in the community, you know, walking around, showing at the um, car show that they were at. It's interesting. I like to see people out in the community. For sure. Did you happen to go over um, newsletters? I briefly touched on it. Um, if anybody is interested in doing newsletters in the agency, I do recommend reaching out to your Safeco rep to, rep to talk about it and just really getting started. I remember when we started implementing a newsletter, it had to have been six, seven years ago. And I thought, my goodness, I we are, I am not a communication specialist. I I can't even form a sentence. That's how overwhelming it felt, right? But in the reality of the whole thing is that you have all the content right at your fingertips from these carriers. And it's easy. It's really, truly, it's a breeze to put together now for us. I know Holly sends ours out each month now. Um, I remember it felt so overwhelming and now it's just, it's nothing. It's become so natural to us. And hey, somebody in the agency finds something really cool they think that could be shared in this month's newsletter, send it over to Holly. She'll put it right into the, the newsletter. And we're only looking at three to five topics, right? And again, a good mix of maybe something we've did in the community, um, uh, uh, what's relevant in the month of, is it Valentine's Day? Hey, this is a great little add-in on, make sure that you add that jewelry to your policy. Did you know that we can ensure your, you know, new engagement ring on the home policy? Um, you know, just keeping it fun, but professional. Um, and and uh, you'd be surprised how well you can do with something like that. And it's a great cross-sell opportunity. But so again, is that a template that you use? We so then use a template that, so we actually use that FUSE program through Agency Revolution. Um, there's a template in there and it's very user-friendly and we are able to just plug in the content in the template. But I do know that if you look, I don't think Safeco is the greatest example of the template itself. I know that if you go through their program, they can teach you, you know, options and what you can use. They do have newsletter content available in the system, um, but every carrier is going to have that for you as well. Right, but, but it's not the template to set it up. But once somebody sets up their template for their email, how easy is it? You're just uh, swipping every yeah, month, swapping just, out the content, yeah, every, swapping yeah. it out, putting it in. Yep. I yeah, feel that, that uh, people are very engaged with it as well. They they respond to some of the stuff that we put out there and we're able to generate some new leads that way and cross sell, obviously. Um, we also do personal insurance reviews, which if you're not doing, um, certainly something to consider, you know, for e and exposure, but also for those cross sell opportunities. And I know that some of the carriers in these in these uh, marketing portals will give you some, some free personal insurance reviews you can do specific to that carrier. I know Travelers has some, for example. Um, I don't know what it is. So in your personal insurance review, when does that go out? We usually send them out about 30 days to each renewal. We have automated the process at this point, um, but I would say 30 days prior to renewal, some people will do about 45 days in advance as well. Just to prevent some of those easy to shop customers. 
Um, Cause I know some of our carriers are also releasing renewals as early as 90 days in advance, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just trying to figure out the perfect mix of, of targeting everybody at renewal time, but certainly something to think about, you know, if you're a newer agent 12 months in and you're starting to see these renewals come through, I would certainly explore that world of personal insurance reviews. So, yeah, absolutely. And um, did you talk about your welcome kit? I did not. So oh, I can show favorite. everybody that. Um, so what we do is we have a welcome kit that we've created. And I actually, I'm not going to go into Fuse to show it. I just have it in, in a series of emails here right now. So once we write a brand new client into agency, we have it automated where they get the first email of the welcome kit three days after they sign up with us, right? Automatically from oh, your CRM. From, yes, that's correct. So for example, the first, it's a series again of five emails. The first email that they're going to get, oops. is this welcome from Allegiance Insurance, you know, again, who we are, how to contact us, right? Because what does that customer experience look like after you write the business? Do they know who to call? Do they know who John Smith Insurance Agency is? You just wrote them with Safeco and maybe you wrote a vote policy with Progressive. How do they know how they can get in touch with you? So that's something to get your wheels turning about. Am I doing a welcome kit? Do I need to start doing a welcome kit in the agency? Um, we also use Glovebox, so we have our own agency app, which I don't want to talk about today. <laughs> we won't get into that, but this is a great add-in for us where they can literally click right here and actively download the agency app uh, through Glovebox where they can manage their policies. And we also sell the 24-7 self-service options since obviously we're only open during business hours, but it's just an additional great add-in to the agency value. So they can go in, pull their own auto ID cards, make yep. their own payments, file their own claims. File a claim, everything. Um, and then it tells, you know, here are the policies that we just issued. And basically, thanks for placing the business with us. And then your team at Allegiance Insurance. The second one. And these are really great. Meet the team. Sure, a lot of you have met Steve Ellis or talked to Steve, but he does all of our sales through the agency. But just quick pictures of Steve works with Penny, Holly, which I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with with Holly. I think she's on the call today too. Um, and then Jamie Dorgan and myself. So, you know, it's again, nice for them to see who they're working with. We're not just an 800 number. They're not calling, let's just throw Geico out there, right? They have actual human people that they can interact with. Going back to that branding yourself, the agency, what, what can they expect next from the real people that they're dealing with? Uh, welcome email number three. We are asking for Google reviews. Google reviews are a little hard to get, but they are so important. Um, every consumer out there is looking for reviews, especially on Google, whether they're going out to eat, they're looking to buy something on Amazon, for example, which seems to be taking over the world. Um, hopefully Amazon doesn't start selling insurance on us. <laughs> um, but this is, this is a necessary thing that you need to do in your agency is start gathering Google reviews. Make sure you claim your Google page, I'm just going to throw that out there and start asking your clients for Google reviews. That way you're building up that credibility and people, if they're looking you up online, well, they don't have any reviews. Who are they? Do they even exist? Right. So something to really start thinking about. Um, and then hey, the Maggie, real quick on the carrier's website, isn't there a place that you can go to, to make sure that their agency name is found in that carrier? If somebody looks them up? Yes. Yes. So there is actually, this is another conversation that you probably want to have with your carrier rep. It's, it's typically called a local agent listing, right? So I encourage you all to Google yourself based on your carrier mix, especially, right? So if you Google progressive agents in Homer Glen, Illinois, do you come up if your office is in Homer Glen, Illinois, if you're not showing up there or wherever your office may be located, Certainly talk to your carrier rep and see if, if there's something that can be done to have that change. Um, we've gotten free leads just being a progressive local agent over the year. I'm talking maybe five to 10 leads in a, in, at each quarter. You know, that, that's tremendous. That's huge. So certainly check that out. I'm glad you brought that up, Laura, is making sure that you're listed as the local agent with each of the carriers. Um, and again, I'm here talking to you guys today because our reps, aren't always going to tell you this information, right? They're, they're busy. They're talking to over hundred agents in their state. That's why we want to provide you with some of these tips and ideas is go back to them, lean on them, 
tell them you need more help. You need to understand, you know, this free and this marketing stuff that's going to be available to them. So thank you for bringing that up, Laura. Sorry that it was right in the middle <laughs> of the welcome letter. Just thought of it. <laughs> Our fourth welcome letter that goes out. Oh, sorry. I don't know why this other word doc keeps popping up here. Okay, so this is where we're asking for referrals, right? I had mentioned earlier, we do a $10 referral program. So they get the fourth email and I, I'm not, we're not sending them out back to back to back. These are spaced out. I apologize, I don't have the timeline in front of me. I, I don't even recall, but it could be, I think it's a couple weeks spread out. We just make sure to tell our clients, hey, watch out for the series of allegiance emails because we're gonna be sending you some information, right? But this is a great way for us to ask for that referral. If we did a good job for them, we want them to send all their friends and family over to the agency, right? And then lastly, we do this fifth welcome. Oh, real quick on that referral for the $10. Mm -hmm. I don't, is that this, can every state do that? I think everybody, if you're in a different state than Illinois, would probably want to check to make sure that you can. It is going to vary state to state. So you have to check with the Department of Insurance. I'm not sure. I know in $10, I think the cap the, the max you can do is $10. It, they may have increased it. Um, certainly something that we have to explore, but be very, very careful when you decide if you're gonna do a referral program like that to make sure you're not you know, crossing any boundaries. Um, and then our last email is just a quick, you know, checking in with them to make sure everything's good. And again, follow us on social media, right? Here's our contact information. We just, we wanna stay in their face, but we don't wanna stay too in their face. So just wanted to share that little welcome kit with, excuse me, welcome kit with you guys. Um, it works really well for us, right? But if the, if the client doesn't know who Allegiance Insurance is, they're not going to open those emails. So you as the agent have to do the job and make sure that you're telling people, hey, watch out for this or continue to hit home on your agency name. That way, if you are going to send out any email communications or letters or anything, they need to know exactly what your agency name is going to be. For so, sure. Is anybody doing any kind of marketing that's working for your agency? I know Foster had mentioned. Is anybody else? Hmm, nobody's chatting in. So they're all writing down notes on things that they should be doing within the agency, I'm sure. Um, but it is really important to have it out there. Pamela said, not yet, writing down notes. See, I knew you were doing that, Pamela. We'll find out who your carrier rep is so you can ask for all that free money that they have. All right, um, another thing too, Maggie, um, besides your, your Facebook page, I just love it. Um, your website is amazing as well. People need to take a look at their websites make sure they have all the information. If you sell life insurance, make sure you're adding that in to some of your communications or during life insurance month. What is that usually? It's in September, September. life insurance awareness month, yes. Yeah, and make sure you're getting that out there. If you're not selling life insurance, and I'm not trying to plug life insurance on this marketing, but it is something really good, especially in your, your personal insurance reviews to ask them as well, where do they have their life insurance? Absolutely. There's nothing worse than that phone call of a family member that is calling to find out if their parent had a life insurance policy and you don't have the answer to it. That, that is so true. And I, I cannot stress that enough because um, when we're doing personal insurance reviews and you're asking them, you know, where do you have your life insurance? You know, maybe not opening that door up of, hey, I'm trying to sell you life insurance, but hey, let's be a one-stop shop. Let's put everything that you have. And you can, even if they have their life insurance somewhere else, you can still put that in Epic and keep track of that, all of that for your clients. And then that could lead into that, well, I don't have any life insurance. And then that's going to open up the door for you to sell them life insurance. Um, can we do a welcome kit through Epic? So kind of, sort of, we can do some kind of email marketings out of Epic. They are certainly not pretty um, when they're sent out. They're very basic. It's just a Word doc with no graphics. It's more or less you're just sending out um, text, like, you know, just words. Nothing really pretty, whereas you can get through um, any of the CRMs that are available out there. But join our marketing workshop. Did Catherine, can you or Anissa Angel, can somebody throw that in? Oh, look at that. 
before I even got it out there. I need to just put it in the chat to register for the marketing workshop. And it's about an hour, hour and 15 minutes uh, for three days, each day, hour and 15 minutes. And you're going to really deep dive into a lot of that stuff that Joel, he's an amaz amazing presenter, and he's going to go through a lot of the things that you should be doing within your agency. That is then now going to make sense that Maggie just told you all these things you can get free from your carriers. Now Joel's going to go through and he's going to tell us everything that we should be doing. And then that's going to trigger, oh, well, wait, Maggie just told me that I can go into Safeco and I can pull that information. So it's all going to kind of go full circle for us as well sure. and i think we got another question what marketing items does maggie uh, see the biggest rate of investment where should we invest the most time where should our marketing budget money go to honestly i would say we see the most return by doing our newsletter because it's a, a compilation of all the things that i kind of basically just talked about right um it, it doing the welcome kit as well right because we're putting in there that that referral program. Sure, we're getting a lot of followers and likes on social media and again, staying relevant and educating our clients, but I would certainly look into a referral program. Um, Pam just said, we send the newsletter out only once a month, probably around the 15th of each month, just kind of staying right in the middle there. But welcome kit and newsletter. I, I highly recommend looking into it. We've seen a lot of success too in prospecting, right? I We've personally in our agency never bought a leads list, but we've had access to leads and um, other prospecting lists and utilizing some of these programs through the carriers. I know success, uh, we've had some success with the Safeco lead program and those prospecting letters. Um, did you get any free leads from any of the carriers? Is that ever available? So talk to, it's there There might be some free leads available to you, but make sure that you talk to your, your partner, your state partner. Okay. And then see what's available through the carriers on that. Yep. All what right. What I would really, really honestly suggest is if you or somebody in your agency can take that safe co-marketer course or to my knowledge right now today, they're the only carrier that I know that offers an actual marketer course. And I do believe the current, the latest series of it is, is been revamped. Um, it's, it's really, really, really good information. Um, so I just highly, highly recommend it. And again, take that free Safeco consultation, that 30 minute, and they can probably give you some really good tips too. I mean, we've tried everything. I'll be honest, about seven years ago, we did send out about 10,000 postcards, right? We created it ourselves. We thought it was great. It wasn't, it was a total flop, <laughs> you know? So we've been down that road. We've done the trial and error. Um, staying relevant and just talking to other agents and getting ideas that way too, just to see what's working. I know we're also going to be getting into, I believe, Google ads. You know, you got to put some money somewhere, but Google ads has shown to be a little bit successful. We haven't tried it out yet, but um, certainly something we want to play with and see if we can go anywhere with that. Yeah, um, I'd be curious to see the statistics on that once you guys get that up and ro rolling. All right, Eric says, I'm looking at my calendar and I have a conflict of two or three days to be recording available. Yes, Eric, the um, we'll look into recording the marketing workshop and getting that out to you. But it's gonna be more beneficial if you guys can join that. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to talk with Joel, who's the presenter to find out if we're able to record that. So if you can try to make it, try to get there. Can I just say one more thing that I wanted to piggyback off of Foster's question? Mm -hmm. Having a website and a good website at that is extremely crucial in today's world as well, because everybody's clicking around online. Somebody can truly go online and buy a policy, right? So if you don't have that good website, that good representation of your agency, um, they might look right past you. I think I think Holly told us in the class last week, I think it was like you had a 0 .0, 0 0.5 seconds to make a good first impression. So if they're looking at your website and it's not looking, you know, very pretty or up to speed, um, and certainly they want to request and have the ability to, to request a quote and possibly even get a quote through your website. So it's certainly something to consider. I know EasyLinks does have that capability. I believe it's for an additional cost, but website, SEO, working on your, I mean, we could go down a whole road. Right topic. Um, I just wanted to highlight really the carriers today, but 
Um, it's, it's a world that you can continue to explore. And, and I'm going to be looking forward to bringing you guys more information as time goes on, right? So we want to be able to share more of this content with you. Um, and a lot of my role now on the as Noah side, now that I've been on the agency side for so many years is to work with actual agents and say, hey, let's play around with this or let's talk through this. And what are you doing at your 12 month renewal? Have you hired somebody yet? You know, so going all over the place on that, but I just want to get throw it out. There's going to be more to come from us at as Noah that you guys will have at your fingertips. So, so look for emails and, and our education roundup for all that information. Maggie's going to be putting some great information out there for us. And we look forward to that. Maggie, is there anything else that you can give us before we start wrapping up? I just wanted to bring up those things that you could do today that are basically going to help you free up your time for some more marketing in the agency. And again, five remember, things, five things All um, right. they don't necessarily cater to marketing specifically, but the, if I can give you guys some tips, these, these would be them right now today. Um, only offer pay in full and EFT on the policies that you're selling because it's going to save you a ton of time on the servicing end. The last thing that any agent wants is to be filtering through all these billing questions. So certainly push pay in full and EFT, push telematics. It's going to help with your retention. It took me like two or three years to even start having the conversation, if I'm honest. I didn't want to change. I didn't want to offer telematics. It has been a game changer in our agency. You would be surprised the amount of people that want to use the telematics. And wait, can I interrupt? And some of the carriers have telematic flyers that you can send out to your clients as well. You typically can add it on as part of the proposal. Um, So I, again, I'm only telling you this because it's going to help with retention and it's going to help save you time, right? So maybe two, three years in, you do have time to do some of this marketing on your own, or you have, you're able to free up some of the time that the CSR is spending on servicing to focus a little bit more on marketing and creating more of a hybrid role. Um, Capture emails and mobile numbers. Put emails in Epic. I cannot tell you how important it is, especially if you decide that you want to commit to a CRM program um, like Fuse, for example, where you can automate all of these communications. So make sure you're getting emails and make sure you're getting mobile numbers, right? I can almost guarantee you in the near future, we're going to start bringing you some more information on how you can incorporate texting in your agency. It's so important to make sure that you're collecting mobile numbers. Um, number four, start a monthly newsletter. Mail or email works, right? Just a suggestion. And then lastly, make sure you're doing some personal insurance reviews because it's a great way to, you know, for free cross sell opportunities in the agency and certainly ENO coverage, ENO protection. Um, and, and you can learn more about those personal insurance reviews on the carrier level as well. You can create your own, you can look at their templates and figure out how you want to incorporate that into your agency. So that's all I got, Laura. Those are five amazing tips. All right. So who's going to start with first tip? You know, any of those five, you guys should be picking one of them. Start right away today. I really appreciate all this information, Maggie, that you gave us. Um, It's sorry that I was late and didn't go through some of the things that I normally go through with live with Laura. Um, so thanks, Maggie. We really appreciate it. If you guys have questions for Maggie, um, just throw them in the chat and we can uh, get answers for you. Email training at if you have questions and we can get those over to Maggie for you as well. So thank you very much. So real quick before we leave, I want to share with you guys just a couple of things on um that we need to go over. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. So, you know, our education roundup, we talk about that all the time. So that's our monthly newsletter that's going to go out to you. So we're doing a newsletter as well. Uh, Make sure to sign up for the June 21st to the 23rd marketing workshop. It's going to be amazing. I have been through it. I think it is absolutely fulfilled with all the information that you're going to need. Um, I know a lot of you received an email from Progressive saying, hey, you need to update your um, Progressive downloader. We take care of all of that for you. So we updated that so there will be no lapse in downloads coming through from Progressive. If you ever see another email that comes through from another carrier, just know that we will update that and take care of that for you. 
And if you get appointed with a new carrier, we'll set up those downloads for you as well. So just send us that information and we can set up the downloads. Here is the information. Um, thank you guys for putting that in the chat on how to register for our upcoming marketing workshop. You guys are gonna get a lot of information out of that. Thank you, Maggie, for jumping on with us today, giving us all of those great information. We could not have gone through all of these tips without you. So we thank you for that. Oh, I got another slide in there. Um, make sure you're utilizing our resources our, as NOAA University so you can register for all of the different sessions that we have available to help you out with EPIC. Um, we have a weekly session. So if you guys have questions on downloads, anything EPIC related, sign up for one of those weekly sessions. They are available to you for free as part of our as NOAA Advantage. Um, watch for all the emails that we send out um, for any webinars that we have coming up. We don't want you to miss anything education related because it's all developed and designed to help you as the agency and to grow. So thanks again, Maggie. We are so excited to have you on You're here. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me on here. And I hope everybody does join that, that FUSE session. It's it's gonna be great content um, for everyone. Absolutely. And don't feel intimidated by it. You gotta start somewhere if you're not doing it already, so. That is true. Good point, Maggie. You got to start somewhere. So um, get on and register for our session. And Maggie, your 12-month uh, calendar going through, making it relevant for your agency and what's going on in the world at that time, I think is really important. Those five things to do today, five, only five that you need to do. Um, just pick one and start going through the, the five different ones. So at the end, you're going to receive an evaluation please fill it out. Let us know what you want to see in any upcoming Live with Laura's. And remember, we're here for everybody. You guys need to jump on a session, send us an email, utilize our YouTube channel. We are here to help you guys with whatever you need to help grow your agency. So thanks for joining today. If you have any questions, we're going to hang out here for a few minutes and we can open up your mic and if you guys got any questions. So thanks for joining and remember to be epic.